students once again welcome back to my channel in this video i will show quadratic equation part 2 and here we will discuss how to solve quadratic equation by using the formula we know the quadratic equation is given by ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 we have already discussed this in part 1 and the formula for solving the quadratic equation is x equals to, so we solve for x, x equals to minus b, minus b is the coefficient of x, minus b plus minus square root of b square, b is the coefficient of x, so b square minus 4ac, a is the coefficient of x square, a is the coefficient of x square, multiplied with c, divided by 2a, a is the coefficient of x square. So this is how we find the value of x by using the formula minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. Now let us solve. The first sum is given by 3x square minus 5x plus 2 equals to 0. We know the quantitative equation standard form is ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. So if you compare with the standard form, we see a equals to 3, b equals to minus 5, c equals to 2, right? So, we use the formula minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 c divided by 2a. Now, let us substitute the values. What is b here? So, it is minus 5. So, my, minus, multiplied with minus 5 becomes 5. You can... You may not skip the step if you want. You can write minus and then minus 5 in the bracket. Plus minus b square. What is b? Minus 5. So minus 5 whole square minus 4. a is 3 and c is 2. So 4 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 2. Divided by 2a. a is 3 because a is 3 here. Coefficient of x square is 3. So we solve it. x equals to 5 comes as it is plus minus minus 5 whole square is 25 and minus 4, 3 is the 12, 12 is 2 is 24. So 25 minus 24 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So we write 5 plus minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 3. So first we solve 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Similarly 5 minus 1 if we take the minus sign now. 5 minus 1 is 4. So 4 divided by 6 gives us 2 by 3. So this is how we solve the quadratic equation by using the formula. This is a very simple sum. I have started with a very simple sum so that your concept is clear. If you should always remember the formula. Now we come to sum 2. This is also very easy and simple. 2x square equals to 4x plus 1. So first we will write it in the standard form. We bring minus 4 4x on the left hand side it becomes minus 4x and plus 1 on the left hand side so it becomes minus 1. So the standard form is given by 2x square minus 4x minus 1 equals to 0. Now we compare with the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. We get a equals to 2 b equals to minus 4 c equals to minus 7. Now we use the formula now let us substitute the values x equals to minus minus b. So b is minus 4, we write it in the bracket, plus minus b square. b is minus 4, so minus 4 whole square minus 4 into ac. a is 2 and c is minus 1. So minus minus plus plus, right? So minus minus plus four, plus so 4 plus minus 4, minus 4 whole square is 16. So minus minus is plus 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 1 is 8. So 16 plus 8 divided by 2 times 2 is 4. Right? 16 plus 8 is 24. So 4 plus minus square root of 24 divided by 4. Now this 24 can be written as 4 multiplied with 6. So 4 times 6. And if you take out 4 outside, that is square root of 4 is 2. So we take 2 outside the square root and 6 remains within the square root because we cannot find the 6 square root I will explain you again 24 is written as 4 times 6 4 square root is 2 it comes outside and 6 remains within the square root 
So let us take two common here on the numerator. Two comes outside, so two multiplied by two. So two remains within the bracket plus minus root six. Bracket closed. Divided by four. Now let us simplify it. This two and four gets cancelled out. So two remains in the denominator. And, sorry. So two plus minus root six divided by two. So this is how we solve for x. Right. So one answer is two plus root six by two, and the other one is two minus root six by two. Now moving to sum three. Here x square minus twelve x minus twenty eight equals to zero. Equals to zero. I forgot to write. If I compare. With a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero, we see a equals to one, b equals to minus twelve, c equals to minus twenty eight. Now let us substitute the values. X equals to minus b is minus twelve, so I will put in the bracket plus minus b square. So minus twelve whole square minus four multiplied with one. A is one, c is twenty minus twenty eight, right? So let us solve. So minus minus becomes plus plus twelve plus minus twelve minus twelve whole square is one forty four because minus whole square is plus minus minus multiplied is plus so one forty four plus four multiplied with one multiplied with twenty eight is one one two and this minus sign and multiplied with this minus sign gives us positive sign right now twelve plus minus one forty four plus one one two gives us two fifty six. Right within the square root, we write it divided by two. Now two fifty six square root is sixteen. So twelve plus minus sixteen divided by two. Now let us solve it. Twelve plus sixteen by two, or x equals to twelve minus sixteen by two. Right. So twelve plus sixteen is twenty eight by two. Twelve minus sixteen is minus four by two. So x equals to twenty eight by two is fourteen, and minus four by two is minus two. So this is how. We solve quadratic equation by using the formula. Very simple. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, just subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Bye bye. Have a great time.